there we go. I wanted to talk about, okay, this is going to get me in some trouble, y'all. I'm trying to decide, is it worth it to say what I'm going to say and piss a bunch of people off? And I don't have an answer to that, but let's just see. We passed a golf course the other day. And there was all, it was only white people on the golf course wearing their little polo shirts, which in my book is a ridiculous look to start with. Um, everybody's dressed exactly the same, but anyway, we passed that golf course and it got me thinking about all the golf courses that won't accept anybody that is not white. And I feel like that even Tiger Woods has maybe played at some of those golf courses that won't accept. And maybe it's better. I know just a few years ago, there were still golf courses that wouldn't allow non-white members. And th then we kind of got into a discussion, man, B, we were just kind of making fun of that whole thing, just looking out there at all those people in their polo shirts. Oh my God, if you just knew what that does inside of me, you would know why I find humor in that. But anyway, I should probably be looking at the camera and still looking straight up. But um, <laughs> it's because I don't know what to say here, but I'm going to say it anyway. But we got to talking about how white people think they're so fucking oppressed. <laughs> that is the biggest joke. And I think they think that, genuinely think that they've been oppressed. Even though we, white people murdered people to make this country a country, they stole the land, committed genocide of the native people of this land to acquire it, and at the same time owned human beings. Yeah, they owned human beings. Like they were pets, but not pets. Now the more like the working animals that you would have on a farm. Um, they probably would have liked to have been treated like some people treat their dogs. I mean, God, that's another thing. Um, that's another level. If people love dogs better than they do people. I've seen people treat animals way better than they treat people or even, ex or even want people to be treated. But anyway, I'm going all over the map. I knew I would. But I feel like that the NRA and the Republican Party has actually made white people think they're oppressed because they think even though nobody's ever said it, nobody's ever said they're doing it, they think somebody's going to take their gun. That's their oppression. Like nothing bad has really ever happened to white people on this soil, maybe other places, but not on this soil. But they're the oppressed ones. Oh my God, give me a break. Give me a break. Oh, it said 333. Okay, that is, you know how I like my numbers. So I feel like maybe I should shut up and let that go. But am I leaving anything out? White people, you are not oppressed. You are the oppressors. Look it up. Watch Roots. I bet you can even find it on YouTube. Roots by Alex Haley. Because that might be a good lesson for you on slavery. Because I don't know if you understand what that is. And maybe watch Dances with Wolves. So that you can see the story from the Native perspective, the Native American perspective, and not the cowboy perspective that you always get in cowboy movies. So you can ride along with the Native Americans in the movie instead of being on the side that you always see, that you've always seen, see the other side and what that was like. And I mean, it's just movies. You could also look up the history. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say. You're not oppressed, white people. You are not oppressed. Nobody's going to take your gun. Nobody wants your gun. Oh my God, with the fucking guns already. Okay? Okay, you're not oppressed. You're not.